What is going on Adventure Nation? I'm sure if you're watching this during the whole COVID-19 thing, you're probably self-isolating and you know hiding in your house. If it's well after the COVID-19 thing, just ignore this. But just so you know, self-isolating doesn't necessarily mean that you are stuck in your house. You can go fishing, you could go hiking, you could go for a bike ride. Um, as long as you're staying away from other people, you should be fine. But let's take a look back at before all of this craziness started while we were still hanging out down in the Florida Keys. This is the Motorhome Experiment. What are you doing? You're moving this all. Oh, sorry. We were staying down there at the Sunshine Key RV Resort, and it was a really nice resort. Uh, there were a couple of really brutal storms that rolled through there, and it's not like you can get to higher ground or anything. It was pouring rain, windy, a little bit freaky, but we survived it. From there, we rolled down into the Curry Hammock State Park, and that's where I got to enjoy a little bit more of my kiteboarding obsession. We are in the curry hammock state park and so we're really close to this place that will allow me to go off on a little adventure so we're heading over there now ready i'm ready you're ready you're ready as i'm gonna get Look at you looking sexy. What's up guys? So, you know I got the kiteboarding bug actually three years ago, almost to the day, down here. Tried to do it in Hatteras, couldn't do it. Got some lessons down in Los Brillas and La Ventana. That went fairly well, but now we're here at the Keys Cable Park. And we're gonna learn how to get more board control at the cable park. My buddy Mike here is gonna try and drown me. <laughs> this is Mike, he's my instructor for the day. How's it? <laughs> so this would be good for you old guys that want to learn how to do the whole kiteboarding thing without having to worry about controlling the kite. This is why I'm here, so I can learn on this cable and then we will get more kite later on. But today it's all about the board, man. Before we got outside, we did a little ground school in the office, but once we got out, Mike explained a little bit more about board control and how the cable would pull me along. Good to go. <laughs> excited entertaining excited remember yes excited nervous same kind of feeling i guess I can say with about 90 percent certainty it's probably a little easier than you think it is uh, mike says it's easy <laughs> easier than you think <laughs> oh, okay easier than i think a little bit so when that line gets tight just lean back hold on here we go paul Arms out, arms out, weave right there. Here we go in three, two, one. At first, we started with a large board called the door. It was about learning to adjust to the pull of the cable from one side to the other. And then we started working on transitioning without stopping. It wasn't exactly all smooth sailing. That's called overconfidence. All right, I'm done with my riding lesson today. How was I coach? Excellent. He's... Looking really good on the board. Posture was perfect. Edge control was there. As long as he's got decent kite control, it's gonna happen. But all that board skill can go out the window when the kite powers up on you. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. I should be able to get it done. That was awesome. Thank you so I much. I have man. no doubt, it. brother. <laughs> Take care. Whew. Now I gotta find Laurie and see if we can get out of here. 
know she's around here somewhere. While we were there in Curry Hammock, which is a kiteboarding mecca, I ran into world-class kiteboarder and own owner of Epic Kites, Dimitri Marimanides, and got to hang out with him for a few days. It was really, really cool. Got to shoot some video of him, watch a professional photographer taking pictures of him, and got to ask a lot of really great questions, or I thought they were great questions. I was probably annoying the hell out of him, but got to hang out with him for a couple of days there at Curry Hammock, and I had an absolute blast. It was, it was really, really cool. we headed up to the John Pennekamp campground further up closer to Key Largo I think it's actually in Key Largo and it is a, a great campground if you want to get your kayaking on or or maybe your paddle boarding done if you've got your own you can drop that in or they have rentals there for you and you can head out into the mangroves and paddle through the mangrove channels it's really really cool after all this time, we finally made it into John Panicamp, doing a little paddle through the mangroves. Got the Epifanios with us. Remember the last time we were paddling with these guys, we got stuck in the Truckee River. This is a little bit deeper, so we shouldn't have a problem. You'll notice that we're not in ours because our kayak sprung a leak and we still haven't uh, fixed it yet. All right, let's head into the whip. We're going into the whip. We're getting beat up here. All right, we're gonna be pulling ourselves through. John Pennekamp, it was time to head out of the Keys, unfortunately, and we rolled up the road and headed over to the Correction State Park near Fort Myers. Now, we arrived in the dark, so there wasn't much to show you, unfortunately. We will have more from the Correction State Park in the next episode, so hopefully you'll come back for that. And in order to do that, maybe you should hit that subscribe button. It will help you stay informed when we upload a new video, which means you should also click the little notifications bell, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye now. <laughs>